Just got everything posted, shared on my Instagram and online. Wait a bit for people to roll in. Oh, I should activate my paints. That's kind of an important step. I have added a new one. I have a uh, raw umber right there. I had to rearrange and like move my greens to the next row, so that's different for me. But get some water in these and look at this beautiful coffee though. Look at this latte. It's so good. Ah, check that out. I wish I could show you the sides, but that would, uh, induce spillage and we don't want that so uh, we're gonna go there there we go and now I can see y'all's comments on the side Okay, so this has uh, trees I forgot to sketch in. So let's add those real quick. Hold up, I sketched this out and inked it uh, like a month ago at this point and just getting around to filling in these pages. And sometimes you look back and you're like, oh yeah, big obvious thing I missed, but that's okay, we can do that now. And trees are easy because they're all fluffy. You can't really mess them up. So just like to get the general shape that they're there. Hello. Uh, I want this one. How's everyone's day? Do loose little squiggly edges for these cute trees. Oop, and this one. I'm having a very good morning. Well, <laughs> it's afternoon now. I'm having a very late start to my day, so it feels like morning to me, but it's good. I've got an excellent latte I'm working on and you know sitting down at my art table it's always a good day gosh I sounded like Mr. Rogers right there I don't know if anyone else felt that every day is a good day when you can sit down at your art table it's like a cross of Mr. Rogers and Bob Ross It's too, uh, a little too pretentious for me to make that uh, association of myself, but you know, I, I felt the I felt the spirit in me, so <laughs> I'll use it. I like to keep things positive, so they are an inspiration in that sense. There's like a couple holes in these trees where you can see the sky, so I want to make sure I get those in there. Do -do -do -do. Gaps over here matters a little less. What's happening there? Cool. There's also power lines through here, but you know, artistic license. I'm going to choose to ignore those. Back to some coffee. Look at this. Look at this. It's just uh, the bubbles are going down, but it's so tasty. The bubbles, the foam, you know. The, the fluffy part. Okay. And, oh, 
and then I want to erase those lines before I go crazy. Where's my eraser? He should be safe. Oop, nope, see. Ah, I smudged. This is what happens when I try to move a little too quickly before the ink dries. That should be easy to cover up with uh, the tree there, but I'm just gonna wait a minute for the rest of that because um, I don't want to mess it up. More coffee, I guess, is what that means. Ah, so good. So pleased with that. I am leaving, um, so there's the pencil line for the letters in this sign here, and I'm going to leave those basically until the last second because um, that's how I spaced them out, that's how I drew the outline, and this is going to be a neon sign, so the letters have to actually be the lightest, so if I inked those in, uh, it would be impossible to get them as bright as I need them to be when it comes time to paint them. So. See if there's any more pencil lines in this, just a little bit. Or it's cat hair. I can't I can't always tell. Alright. Uh, I get my paint um any art supply store really, um, but these are Windsor and Newton brand paints. I actually don't have a tube to show, but they're the professional series paints. They come in pan, like pans pre-dried like this, or you can get them in tubes and fill your own pans, which is what I did here. Um, this is an empty pan with my magnet in it, uh, which is how I attach them to this tin. So they'll snap in like that and don't fall out, even if you flip it upside down. Yeah, some of these are actually the student series, the Cotman line, and I'm slowly switching them out as I use them up, um, but they work just fine. I think this blue is actually one of them. But we'll do our sky. Actually, I should have pre-wet this a little bit, but too late. sure get in those little windows even though the ink is uh, still wet apparently oh well uh, actually there's trees over here there we go just a slight boundary of where I need to stop doing blue My cat's snoring next to me now. You won't be able to hear it, but it's so cute. Okay, and this is gonna seem weird, but because this is very late afternoon for this sky, there's actually a very slight yellow tinge on the low edge of the horizon here. See if I can get that. 
Although it might also be just like city smog. So, you know, keeping it real. I do want to give these just a little extra punch. Oh no! Smear! There we go. Okay. Now for this building, which is like a very light sandstone color. Let's see if I can approximate that just up here. Give it like a tiny dab of orange because of the light. Is this too dark? Yes, that is too dark, which is why we put it in the sh shadowy area. It's actually a pretty accurate color for what's right there. Uh, we can actually hit uh, the underside of this as well, so that will be similar. Because I need to mop a lot of this up because I don't want this dark color, I need it lighter. Might as well use it. Oh, awesome, thank you. 1.1k likes, I appreciate that. Lighter, lighter color, which just means dab of this, dab of that, and then mostly water. Lots and lots and lots of water. Pale, pale yellow, that's good. I think I accidentally added that uh, cadmium yellow, but I like it, so well, it can stay. This is also gonna seem weird, but I'm gonna put some orange backlighting in this restaurant because that's what the lighting kinda looks like. Some in there. There's actually some along here. Most of this is gonna get pretty covered up, but you'll see what it looks like at the end.
this at the top of this tree too. Fun. Okay. And I might actually get to try out this raw umber already. Let's see what that looks like. It's this is low brick wall. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. Also need some of that. And the other wall, forgot that. Hit that. That's so satisfying, just like coloring that in. All right, more of this at the bottom. I might already need to switch to my smaller brush. There's just so many little nooks and crannies in here. Size six round brush. Hope everyone's enjoying uh, this seasonal fall music. I'm enjoying the seasonal fall weather and temperatures we're finally starting to get. It's actually comfortable enough to paint in here again. And then this does get really dark on the bottom edge. And that. Okay, more coffee time. Well, that's a problem.
Now back to painting. Okay, now I need teeny weeny tiny brushes because these windows are so small. Let's see if I can fill these in without losing all of that orange. fill in the rest. There we go.
These are so small. But we're working on it. My music stopped, or we're moving on to the next thing, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh oh, there's an ad. Let that finish. Are we back? There we go. Gotta love the chill tunes. It feels like fall. I think there's a ice cream truck near me, which is very unusual. I don't think I've ever heard one around here. That's awesome though. I want ice cream. Okay, adding in some of these darks. does something and these will pop out more when I do the white like ink highlight at the end so more soon I'll just add more browns up in here again And this is the account where you're a mod, so you're good. But I can add your other account if you'd like, so. guys hear the music now because it's a mood okay I think I'm gonna add a touch of blue through here because it's like glass and that is not translating maybe maybe even this aqua just a little bit. I think I like this one better. Okay, good. I'm glad you can hear the music at least. stretchy break because I've been shrimping Ooh. yeah okay 
<sighs> I gotta dip back into, was that it? No, that wasn't it. My very pale tan color, cause the sidewalk is also that color. This is all parking lot, except uh, I fudged where this goes, so I haven't decided how I'm gonna handle that. Ow. I guess actually this is in, hmm, hmm, let's see, we're gonna do some of the patchy grass that goes around this thing, we're just gonna, we're gonna fake it till you make it. And it'll just fade to the edges like a dream. Like I totally didn't just plop this in where it doesn't belong. Oops, wrong ring. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kind of fade this out to the side there too because I don't want to have this parking lot like weirdly wrap around this. That would just seem silly. Like, yo dog, I heard you like pavement. No thanks. Let's take it and go on, because I'm having a very silly slow day, but it is deserved. It is a long week. Coffee time. Yay, a draw with me. My brush keeps rolling into the edge here and I keep, I'm afraid it's like soaking into the pages, but I don't think it has yet. So <laughs> we're good. Okay. I want to figure out more building details before I lay in this because my hand might go in it. Uh, this has some slight color to it. Isn't it the perfect fall day though? I love that. use my new umber color. Let's see how that works. There we go. Okay.
Yeah, I've been really feeling in the mood to, to see some fall colors. Um, but that doesn't happen down here. So I'm probably gonna go watch some of my favorite sort of Northeast YouTubers after this because they got those fall color videos coming up. This is a blue striped umbrella. Let's see if I can sort of hint at that, even though I inked it. door the slightest bit of shading. Let's do that and then hit the top. There we go. Fill in some of those little white specks. coming back and correct that because that's supposed to stay white. Whoops. Okay. Tree time? I think it's tree time. Tree and plant. Of which I have several of each. This one's cool because it's like I think still like blooming a little bit so the ends are a lighter green and then it gets darker green sort of as they deepen so this is gonna start out really bright and then we're gonna darken up because with watercolors you work light to dark so I don't smudge anything. This part is so calming, it's literally just coloring this in. I 
I might, I might light a candle today. Woo. Light a candle and maybe put on one of those fireplace channels. <laughs> Should be absolutely ridiculous. A little over the top, but they're so calming, you know? At least until it gets too warm here, because that does happen pretty quickly. Not from the fireplace channel, but just the ambient air temperature living in Texas. Wouldn't it be funny if I thought that the fireplace channel actually made my house warmer? It would not, but that would be funny. I mean, I have an old enough TV, it does get a little warm when it's running, so... Yeah, it's not entirely inaccurate. Yeah, a fall Yule log. Is there, is a, is there a autumn equivalent of a Yule log? Like the first log you burn in the fireplace? I don't know. That reminds me, I actually do have to clean out uh, my fireplace from my attempts at using it last year because I had to test that it actually was functional, and it is. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that again except in case of emergencies where I don't know maybe the power grid fails and goes out for a week again so you know I do have that but it just left my apartment smelling very smoky even though it was ventilating properly it was like not a very pleasant after effect so don't want to do that on the rig I still think it's very strange that apartments, some some apartments in Texas have fireplaces. I'm like, why? But happy to have it when it's, uh, you know, 35 degrees out. Mm. Coffee's all done. Hi, cat. What do you want? You want to get back up in your chair and take another nap? Maybe. What? Get up here. <laughs> Don't whine at me then. Okay, now's the fun tree time, is when you put all the texture and the fun in. Meow. And sure. Silly boy. Okay. I'm gonna have to add some Payne's Gray to this, I think, to push them back. Cause they're, they're showing up a little too vibrantly right now. But baby steps.
another idea. I'm just gonna smash some brown in there. That way it knocks down the vibrancy and makes it darker at the same time. Color theory. Here first. Do, 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 do. This one's very shadowy. It's gonna be cool. Are you working on anything, Dana? Or just listening? Adult stuff, yay, I'm glad your uh, return went smoothly-ish, mostly, you know, you don't have to worry about it anymore at least. That's good. Okay, smashy brown time. Smashy brown. Smashy brown. Smash, 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 smash. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, smash. Smash, 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 smash. More. More! It's my best to uh, Kylo Ren there. Ooh, what kind of solo trip are you going on? Okay, how do we feel about those trees? I'm 
Research, yes. Excellent. Not that you need it, but I approve. look happy thank you now we gotta do this guy right uh, and that guy actually also has I don't know I'm gonna do a swoosh so we can maybe get a little peek through of these windows in the background and then also It looks silly, but like it, it'll it'll come together. I hope. Let's let that dry and work on this other guy. My tree sound effects. I'm so glad you get to go see that, especially before they renovate. That's such good timing. Deer, yes. Okay, on to this guy. I'm actually going to go to my four. It just it feels neglected. We're gonna we're gonna use the whole spectrum of brushes here. Actually, yeah, we can do a wash of green and then fill in the rest. I honestly have no idea why I'm doing this with this as far as technique goes. I'm just trying trying some new ways because uh, with other methods I'm left with these little white speckles and it bothers me so I'm trying to find ways I can fill those in that isn't um, distracting, you know? Oh yeah, I'm out of coffee. Aww. Can someone make me a new cup of coffee? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I did forget. Um, these little ledges here. <laughs> Thanks, Dana. I know you always, you always got me covered. Appreciate ya.
go. Okay, what color is this pole? Also a rusty color, perfect. Cause guess what's on my brush? said earlier this the pencil lettering is gonna stay until the very last minute because I need to know exactly where that goes when I paint another neon sign look at me go learning new things all the time okay that's the base and then we're gonna punch it up as much as we can. This might be one of my cotton colors and I'm starting to see why because it's not giving me as much pigment as I want. I'm gonna give it a kick with, I think this is lake red. And also definitely more brown down at the bottom. do okay back to this tree I hope nope other image there we go I've got a couple different references here because this sign is actually not placed in front of the building like this but I wanted it in there So we just made it up. I think I'm liking how I laid down the sort of background colors for this already. It's making shading in this shadowing, you know, this kind of texture less uh, worrisome about coverage. And I can worry more about the depth, which is cool. to here. And also punch up the shadow behind this because it is lacking quite a bit. Isn't this music fun? I've been enjoying it. It's like 
a YouTube channel that's just royalty free autumn music and it was specifically blues, jazz, and bossa nova and I like all of those things so it, and it does feel very fall to me I don't know what that association is but a lot of people seem to have it so I'll take it Okay, and let's do one more hit. Some shadow up there. I forgot to do the tree blobs over here. Here we go with a little bit of bossa nova kick. Love it. details in this when it's a little drier so it's got some like cool rusty patches I just want to give that idea neat. Okay, now the scary part is this um, neon. Oops, come back. No, my reference. Okay, I'm not sure how to do this because it's kind of like red, pink, neon, and it's on a very sun faded um, it was probably white at one point, but it's faded down to like a tan background, and I'm not sure how to achieve that, because it basically goes mid-tone, vibrant red, to a bright, you know, pinky white. <laughs> okay, that's going to be difficult. Aw, don't be angry, but you should go to bed because it is late where you are. And thank you. Okay, say goodbye to the letters. Vibrant ready pink. Oh no, these are already dried up. Come on. Have a good night. We're just gonna go for it. And I can already tell I'm gonna need quite a bit of this because laying down color this vibrantly takes a lot of pigment.
see where those T's go. Oof, yeah, there we go. Okay. And off to this weird, weird tan. Go ahead and use my umber for that. Oops, that's a little much, but. Let's see how this goes. This one is, the song is making me feel like I need like one of those drinks with the tiny umbrellas in it. Just, just nearby. Tiny umbrella drink, please. Doesn't even have to be alcoholic. I don't care. Just, I just want the umbrella. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna let that dry and look at the building, see if I'm missing any other details. I think just a little bit of that. I think this one is really gonna pop. Yeah, something in a martini glass, definitely. This one is gonna really pop with some of the white highlights because first of all, that's gonna be the neon sign. And then there's a lot of like glass reflection and glare and some framing in there that I knew I was not gonna get with these brushes. So I'm gonna switch back to my big brush. We're gonna fill in the parking lot. Thrilling, I know.
Yep, you can kind of see an oil spot, probably where I got a fingerprint on the paper here because it's a little hydrophobic, but just kind of work at it and fill it in. That happens. Okay, gonna darken out these edges because that's what I see. Okay, almost. Ah, uh, no, that's all gone. The curl. And now I can't, now I can't do the lettering because I'll stick my hand right in this. No! Um, perhaps I can sharpen up this little cement pad that's beneath this. It's a little, a little vague. Okay, looking over some details while we let this dry. Uh, it's doing okay. Let's maybe give this a slight little shadow inside there. Oh no, that was a bad idea. So now all the blues are bleeding. And then some of the slightest little brick details, because this is a little flat. I'm going to try to do that without dunking my hand on that again. There's that. These also have that. I like that. That helps. Hello, happy Saturday. Smidge of shadow in here. Okay, I think that's mostly dry. One benefit of living in a hot climate. All right, and I need a piece of scrap paper. Get this going. Cool.
cool. And then I can fix this. It's a really thin window framing line. Well, not lots, lots, but you know, a fair amount. So we're gonna frame all these in. If this pen will behave, it tends to get a little goopy. There we go. Especially when the paper is still like slightly damp from the paint. It doesn't really like to run, uh, to write on that. So you gotta be a little, very light touch. to keep the lines kind of straight but it's also a sketchbook and I like a little bit of you know natural wiggle to my drawings so a plan free Saturday is usually kind of it's, it, it can be the best Saturday I like those Saturdays Okay, that was shrimpifying. There's the window frames. Um, check in if I missed any other of the little floaty lights. I don't think so. Do eh, yeah, I'll leave that. Okay, neon time. Let's hope I left enough space for the letters. <laughs> Pardon while I go completely silent to focus on this. Actually, let me get yet another little scrap of paper to lay my hand on just to protect this. Come on, Pan, work with me. So weird because of the dimensionality of the neon it doesn't sit center on the like little glowy background so I did not really pay that much close attention until that until just now of course
off more goop. And we're gonna try and run over this again. And filling in these little areas I missed. And then we might go back over with the paintbrush one more time just to like solidify where these are sitting. There's just almost like a shadow that was hard to get on the first pass. So and my E's are uneven. Sorry. Lettering is hard, guys. Okay. Tiny brush. Tiny, teeny wee, tiny brush. Oh, good thing I have, still have this red here. Pinky red. little better and there so there is like a yellow cast to some of this so I'm gonna very carefully try to do that lightly on top of the letters we'll see how successful this is uh, that's actually not bad Maybe went a little heavy-handed, but uh, that's on me. It's just like using a highlighter. That's one. Probably need to quit while I'm ahead on this because it's doing okay. I'm going to give this just a little bit more like bleed on the edge because it will help with the glow. Right now it just sort of sits there.
Anyone else like the little tink, tink, tink of the brush on glass? I find it really satisfying. Um, and sometimes I sit there and swish longer than I need to because I just like the sound. wish this was like a smidge longer, but all things considered, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I might, I need to find, I don't know, a better pen liner. I wonder if this white gouache will help or, no, that's gonna be too weird. I don't know, Let's see if I can. Nope, that's not gonna behave anymore. Okay, we're gonna stop. What y'all think? I think I'm gonna call that good. Just reviewing any other little details. I think it got a little lost in here, but there is some very light yellow leaves on the tippy tippy top there. yellow thank you I think oops yeah I had a glob of yellow on there apparently I think that's it for today thank you all for joining and I'll see you on the next page bye